What is up everybody? Chris with Team Aquascape. Today we have an incredible transformation project. We have a 25 plus year old pond that we are going to make new again. Check it out. So like I said, today we are going to be rehabbing a 25 year old pond. It's roughly a six by 11 foot pond. We're gonna make it a little bit bigger. It's about an eight by 11, eight by 12 foot pond. Waterfalls, we're gonna push back a little bit. Rather than me explaining it to you, let me turn the camera around so you can actually see what the canvas looks like and where we're gonna get started. We have a liner bottom pond, stacked flagstone. This is a homeowner built pond and he did an incredible job. Like I said, folks, it is 25 years old. So it has stood the test of time, but He's starting to leak at his skimmer and at the biofalls, which is buried back there underneath the magnolia. I don't know if you can see that there. It's leaking back behind the spillway of the biofalls. Also, there are some missing components from this uh, old skimmer. This is actually a PSA skimmer, which uh, the pond father himself, Greg Whitstock, the pond guy's dad, developed. So it used to have some baffles in there. There was a screen net, but 25 year old equipment, it's time for an update. What we're gonna do is we're gonna completely demolish everything, pull out all the flagstone. We're gonna come in with granite boulders that are like these round boulders here. We're gonna make the pond a little bit bigger, kind of sweep it out. One of the motivating factors also is to make this pond deeper. The customer currently takes the fish inside for the winter time and overwinters them in there because the current depth of this pond is really only about 14 inches of water depth. Now here in the Midwest, that's borderline not deep enough to house uh, fish over the winter. So we are going to do him one better and make it so that he can keep his fish outside, reducing the amount of work that he has to put into this thing. So new equipment, making it deeper, bigger, bigger, better, badder. Everything is gonna be awesome with this. Uh, new waterfalls, we're gonna have a departure from the stacked stone look and give it a little bit more bounce and movement using some of those boulders that I told you were, was coming. I can't wait to get this project started. I think the guys are starting to pull up. So let's just go ahead and get stuff unloaded, start tearing things out and start getting digging. We have all of our plywood down. We've got our product located in here in the garage. We've got the homeowner right here, Bob, who's anxiously awaiting his pond rehab. We got a pile of bag gravel behind us. So next step is we're gonna start getting out all of this flagstone and schlepping it down and getting it put back in our truck, which is parked right there. So it's a little bit more of an urban environment than we are accustomed to. However, it's, we're not strangers to this. So access will be one of our key challenges today. So it might slow us down a little bit, but let's hope not, okay? We'll pray, pray for us. All right then, let's get going. I apologize for the lighting folks, but uh, we got the sun right above us there. So we can block that out. So we have um, all of the rock out of the pond. It is now in the back of our truck. We got the liner out. We're gonna pull the fabric, pull the biofalls, pull the skimmer. Skimmer's gonna go back in the same spot. So we'll put a new Signature 1000 series skimmer there. And then the 2500 biofalls is going to replace this old pond sweep skimmer. We're gonna push it back a little bit and twist it facing more towards this direction. So that right out of the biofalls, we get a little dog leg and then back into the pond. We're gonna lower it just a hair. We're gonna build a little retaining wall to help protect the magnolia. You can see we left a lot of the existing landscape plants and we're gonna run that rock and liner up underneath some of these lower branches. And I really wanna have this kind of cascading landscape look over the top of the rock and boulder to make it look like it's always been here. Now the fun stuff, dig a little bit and then rock and roll it. All right, so we've got the new biofalls. That's the 2500 series biofalls in. You see it's cockeyed a little bit, face more to where Micho is at. We pushed it back about eight inches. We're gonna build up a berm all the way around the backside. We will do a boulder retaining wall to help protect that magnolia and some of this other stuff like this azalea right here. You can see the shape is kind of staying the same. We're just gonna bump out that edge where Micho is at and then right there, I'm thinking we'll do like kind of a little landslide area. Skimmer's gonna go back in the same spot and we're gonna go down to 24 inch depth for this pond, like I said earlier in the video, so that he can maintain his fish. We're not gonna have a whole lot of shelves in here. We've got some massive boulders i'll take you out front and show you that but we've got some big rocks that are actually going to help carve those shelves in for us so we are getting ready to crush it today 
As you can see, the boys are cutting fabric over here, which only means one thing. Excavation is done. Time for fabric, liner, and more fabric. And then we will start to rock and roll in this pond. So we are cruising right along. It's about 10, 15, 10, 20 in the morning. We've got our excavation done. Let me buzz over here and show you. Folks, again, sorry about the shadows. So here it is. Kind of hard to tell in through here, but the deepest section is actually going to be about 28 to 30 inches. Uh, we dug a deep section because we have a lot of big rock that we're going to throw in there and just really set this thing off. We have the liner to do it. Mitchell, you ready? We're ready. Let's go, bro. So guys and girls out there, it is a wrap. I don't know if you can see how incredible that waterfall is, so let me just pan in. Holy smokes. That is a three foot tall waterfall that's only about 18 inches off of the pond. It's a really tough waterfall to build, but because we had some really, really good sized rocks, like the one on the right there, that is about a 30 inch boulder. And then the one on the left of that is about an 18 inch rock. So you can see we've got a good change of direction, but it just, it looks so incredible. I love how we were able to keep the barberry, the juniper over here that gently cascades down into the water, just really camouflages that edge. We've got a really neat kind of break up in the edges over there from that big stone that kind of sets that peninsula. You can see Bob, the homeowner, has already put in some creeping Jenny along the side. That stuff will take off and crawl over the rocks, crawl backwards looks so so cool he's got a little one up there that i think he's going to put in the gravel pocket right there but just the sound of this is incredible it's very very loud for only 4500 gallons and a lot of that is because of the height of the waterfall the style to which it was built sound was a big thing on this project and it just turned out really great the water crystal clear see some of the rock work in the bottom. Remember there was a fish cave that's located down under this. We used a piece of 12 inch ADS pipe about two feet long and carved it in down here. So there's actually a huge cavern underneath this area for the fish to hide out, sleep, do whatever they do. But it just looks so, so cool. I'm in love with the waterfalls. I'm in love with the plantings, the rock work. It just really fits this space. Then you got my cool pickup truck there, but it just looks beautiful and awesome. The guys did a great job hiding the biofalls around back. We've got some Hakanakloa back there on the right. Looks like we've got some Acorus on the left, and then he's got a really big, beautiful fern also back there, all underneath the canopy of a really, really cool, very well manicured magnolia. Got a nice azalea right there. And then we've got this, Bob, what are these called? The fine line? Thin line. Thin line? Really cool texture. I'm in love with these plants. I want to get some for my house. Difficult um, to find on the market, but once you do, you'll be happy with it's it. It's awesome. I'm just really pumped with how it turned out. Couldn't be more proud of our team, the guys, and Bob. You know, who is now an Aquascape hey, homeowner. I am so happy. <laughs> I am thrilled to death. This is a cool job and I love it. And this company is unbelievable. The best in the world. And Chris here is fabulous. You could tell that he works hard because you could look at his black and blue fingernail. <laughs> I don't know. I got a couple of them there. <laughs> the tons of stone that w happened to be moved here was uh, watching it uh, intensely. I was saying, I'm glad I'm not doing it because it was uh, tons of stone in this little boutique yard is uh, fascinating. And my neighbors are in love with it. And they come over here and we eat ice cream together and, and watch the watch the fish swim around. So it's going to be exciting this summer. That was a glowing review, Bob. Thank you for that. <laughs> that makes our job incredibly special and makes it worth what we do. Obviously, we get to create works of art, but hearing somebody like Bob uh, say things like that about us really hits home and we just love what we do. And, and hopefully that carries over into our work. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll give you one last look, see, before I turn this camera off when it's getting soaked, but it just turned out beautiful. So thank you again, Bob. Thank you, sir. Appreciate Great. you. Thank you so much. <laughs>